Hi there, my name is Ed and welcome to your App Blitz workout. This workout is designed for those who are in a rush. Uh, we're going to have only six exercises and we're going to repeat each exercise twice, 30 seconds per exercise. Let's get the warm up in. Fists together, rotating through your torso, relaxing your neck, moving through your obliques and the spine supported muscles, relaxing the neck. From here, rolls of your arms forward, relaxing the neck, chest up, embracing your core. <sighs> right, from the arms on the side and flexing through your core, reaching with your palms towards your knees, relaxing the neck and looking down into the floor. Few more seconds. And relax, getting on your mat, knees on the floor, with your heels, we're driving the glutes down to your heels, and love. Squeeze your glutes, bring the head up. One more time, glutes down to your heels, reaching out with your arms. All out, arch your back, bring the head up. Look over one shoulder, return, look over the other shoulder. Right, let's get to work in here. First exercise, we're gonna start with the crunching clap. So we're gonna get your legs up in the air as straight as we can. Arms on the side, above your head. We're gonna introduce a crunch clap, return back with your arms down on the floor. Now if you need, you bend the knees, Tap of your calves. 30 seconds starts in three, two, one. Let's go. Legs as straight as we can, relaxing the neck, <sighs> clapping as high as we can. Remember, you want to bring that chest as close as you can towards your legs, relaxing the neck and reaching with your shoulders. Remember, if you need an option, you make sure you tap over your calves and bend those legs at a 90 degree angle. Arms returning above your head and on the floor, so it will reassure that we have a full range of motion. Relax the neck. Three seconds, two, one, and relax. Dropping those legs down on the floor. We have only five to ten seconds recover. Deep breath. Get your legs back in action. Round number two, 30 seconds on the move. Breathing in and out. Remember, those legs are straight as possible. Reaching as high as we can. Remember, you're giving that clap at the top, and if it's too hard, you bend those knees and tapping over your calves. Relax the neck, reach with your shoulders, maintain every repetition solid, increasing that range of motion where you can. You have eight seconds. Last five. Three, two, and relax. Already feeling the tension coming over your rectus and abdominals. Exercise number two is a tuck crunch. So we're gonna get your arms just behind you, tilt up, chest up. We will pull those knees towards your chest and we will extend those legs away. Remember, the straighter the legs, the harder your core will be working. 30 seconds twice, starting in three, two, one, let's go. Remember, if you need an option, you can do only one leg if you need to. Knee towards your chest and drop out. Toes pointing away. The closer your knee comes to your chest, the more your rectus abdominis will be engaged. Relax the neck, look far, chest up. Eight seconds on those top crunches. Steady and strong, options always here. Three, two, and relax. Drop the legs. Ooh, feel that heat coming over your rectus abdominis. I'm gonna turn around and show you exactly the same thing from the other side. 30 seconds start in three, two, and let's go. Steady and strong. Remember, if you need an option, you have a single leg, knee to chest. 10 seconds gone. Arms supporting you, relaxing the neck, chest up, bracing your core. Every repetition counts here, team. Final five seconds. Three, two, and relax. Ooh. Again, feeling all that rectus abdominis, your main six pack area is on fire. Moving on. Exercise number three is a leg circle out. So we're staying in that upright position. We're gonna open your legs to the sides, return to the center. You're keeping those legs as straight as we can, toes pointing away, and if you need to, you drop at the bottom here. Open those legs, drop down, all right? 30 seconds twice, we're starting in three, two, one, let's go. Remember, you focus on that range of motion. The straighter the legs, the harder your core will be working. Steady and strong. Remember, every repetition counts. 
but also if you need, you drop those legs at the bottom. Eight seconds, three, two, and relax. All right, team. One more time, 30 seconds. Do not be afraid. You slightly tilt back so you have enough space to get those legs up. Get yourself ready. We're starting in three, two, and let's go. Controlling that pace, moving those legs up and down. Absolutely fantastic. The wider you go, the more core will be engaged. Keeping those legs as straight as possible. Remember, if you need to, you drop those legs at the bottom here. Five seconds. Three, two, and relax. All right, team, we're moving further. Wasting no time, exercise number four. Exercise number four is our scissors. So we're gonna get the legs straight, pointing away. We're gonna lie down on the floor, arms on the floor as well. We're gonna make those cuts with your legs. The wider and the slower you go, the more you will work on that V-shape on your lower abdominal. Remember, keeping that tension and keeping those legs off the floor as low as we can. Three, two, one, let's go. Legs are straight, relaxing the upper body. So from the hip up, we're not moving. Steady and strong, keeping those legs moving. Keep that control, open those legs and cross. Steady and strong, it's not a race, so we're not counting how many reps we do. We're keeping that under the pressure. Five seconds, and relax. Wow, feeling it, that lower abdominal is really on fire. One more round and one more 30 seconds on the scissors, starting in three, two, and let's go. Remember, now if you love a challenge, you can make a crunch every cut. This gives an extra tension on your rectus abdominis and it will make your core shake. <laughs> Feeling that tension, again, rectus abdominis and the lower abdominal is on fire. We have eight seconds. Finish it off. Three, two, and relax. Drop the legs, breathe in, and breathe out. We're moving further, and we will get us into a plank position. Remember, plank position, shoulders, hips, and ankles will get in straight line. So, we're getting into straight plank position. We will introduce a hip rotation, where your upper body is solid, and your lower body is rotating side to side over your toes. Now, if it's too much pressure on your wrists, you get yourself on your forearms, keeping those hips pretty low and rotating through your hips side to side. 30 seconds twice. Three, two, and let's go. Remember, keep it steady and strong. Rotating through those hips, upper body is locked. So anything above your chest is not moving. Strong and steady, rolling over your toes, keeping your hips in line with your shoulders, looking down into the floor, soft elbows. Surviving this, 10 seconds. Soft elbows, suck it up, three, two, and relax. All right, let's just reach out, get those shoulders shaped. Gonna move around, so I'll show you the other side. Soft elbows, remember, if you need, you go on your forearms, hips long, three, two, and let's go. Rotating with your hips, upper body is locked, Working through those obliques. Remember, the harder you work now, the more progress we get later. Pumping through that core. We have another 10 seconds. This is nearly there. Feeling that heat over your abdominals. Steady and strong. Four, three, two, and relax. Wow, reach it out. We are one exercise away from finishing this workout. This exercise will be a plank position. So we're gonna do 30 seconds on each side. So we're gonna get into a side plank position where your elbow will be under your shoulder. We will raise your hips and we will bring knee to elbow and extend up in the air. Now, if you feel that it's too much, you can always bend that bottom leg and still do knee to elbow here. Your 30 seconds starts in three, two, and let's go. Remember, keep it steady, keep it controlled. Keep your arm and leg in the air if you can. Ha. The harder we work now, the more reward we get later. 10 seconds. Keeping those hips in line with your shoulder. Three, two, and relax. Wow, 
One more 30 seconds to go. Rolling over to the other side. Elbow in line with your shoulder. Knee to elbow at the top, hips off the floor. 30 seconds, and this is the last 30 seconds. Remember, if you need, you can bend that bottom knee, keeping those hips straight, strong, reaching in and out, knee to elbow. We have last 12 seconds. Let's get the most out of this work. Careful, the end is near. Get the most out of this. Four, three, two, and relax. Wow, absolutely fantastic effort. Shake those arms, let's get the twist back in. Relaxing your neck, taking the tension of your obliques and the spine supported muscles. Drop your arms back on the floor, bring your glutes down onto your heels, keep those knees on your mat, reach out with your arms, face the floor. Unload, arch that back, bring the head up. Looking over one shoulder, return. Looking over the other shoulder. Return. Bring the head up and the biggest applause to yourselves. Thanks for joining, thanks for pushing. This is your app blitz when you need to save time. Tune in with me and next time. See you soon.